Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be looking at more prayers of the faith, and to start off, I thought we'd look at a very short prayer called the Jesus Prayer. I've been wanting to do this prayer for a while because I actually found myself saying something similar to it at Mass years before I even knew it existed. Here's the prayer in its entirety. O Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner. This prayer is a very popular one in the Eastern Catholic Church, and in particular is frequently used in the Orthodox churches. But as you can see, there is nothing about it that would prevent any Christian of good faith in the world from praying it, and in fact, it's still recited in Roman Catholicism and Anglicanism as well, though not as often as by Eastern Christians. Let's look over the words of the prayer, piece by piece. O Lord Jesus Christ, this portion addresses Jesus directly, telling us right off the bat who this prayer is being directed towards. Not only that, but we acknowledge with these same four words that Jesus is the Messiah, and we accept him as Lord over ourselves and our lives. Son of God. Here we say that Jesus is God, the second person of the Trinity, and by extension, we imply belief in the Trinity as well. Have mercy on me. Up to this point, the prayer has been just an address or greeting, but here we get into the petition to God, requesting and or pleading for his help. This can mean that we want to be spared from physical harm, from temptation, or that we want God to forgive us of the sins we've committed. God can even show us mercy by helping us with future problems. Any good thing that God gives to us is, in some sense, a merciful act on his part. A sinner. In order for God to forgive our sins, we need to first acknowledge that we have, in fact, sinned against him. Admitting our own sinfulness also implies that we're willing to look at ourselves honestly and reflect on our past actions, saying, Yes, that decision I made was a bad one and it was wrong of me to do those things that I did. This quality of self-reflection and willingness to admit our own faults is precious, and not nearly as common as it should be. It's believed that this version of the prayer goes back to the 5th century, having been used by early Christian hermits in Egypt, but of course, the main force of the prayer, the plea for forgiveness, can be found in the Bible itself. And the publican, standing afar off, would not so much as lift up his eyes towards heaven but struck his breast, saying, O oh God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Luke 18.13 Very familiar prayer there. Jesus then validates the one who said this prayer, saying, I say to you, this man went down into the house justified rather than the other, because everyone that exalteth himself shall be humbled, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Luke 18.14 Next time, the Litany of Humility. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.